up, buddy? How you doing, brother? How you doing, man? How you doing? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. We had sunshine today. You know? <laughs> we had the opposite. We had overcast, overcast skies and 50 degrees and rain. Okay, so we well. Switched. We switched we had, for the day. We had sunshine and um, 35. But I'll <laughs> I'll take the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, right? We won't blame you, know? you there. Yeah. Don't blame you there at all. I got to put my... I put my bicentennial fight shirt on for this one. I got to get one of those. Yeah, yeah, I like this one. I do. Um, that was a Funko, you, right? That was a Funko shirt. Uh, no, this one's from the shop. Oh, it was from the shop. The, the Funko one had th this picture. Okay, but this one in particular is from the shop. Okay, all right. But they did the Funko one had this picture. It I was thought just, it was. Yeah, I don't know why. It was it was kind of weird, but I do remember that one, the Funko one. Yeah. Okay, okay, and uh, and yeah, those everybody obviously knows and is well aware um, of uh, our loss of, the, of everyone's loss yeah. to uh, Mr. Carl Weathers, who uh, passed on February second, the age of seventy six. Went to sleep. I mean, you got to go. That's the best way to go. The sleep is uh, yeah. is it, I would think. That, but, but that that it, it was so um, uh, unexpected, mm -hmm. you know. Kind Very. of. I did you hear if he was like had any illness, any sickness? No. I no. mean, the As man. Fact, I, the man I his just saw him on the um, the commercial, the the Super Bowl commercial, the teaser. Okay. He was, on, he was on a Super Bowl commercial with Gronkowski. He uh, yes, he yeah. had uh, he had the the Comic Con in uh, Virginia coming up next month. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't hear anything about him being sick. That video that we posted on round fourteen, where he said he couldn't make Boston show because he was directing, didn't seem sick. No. Didn't, and that one was done like week or so before it happened. Okay. Um, the man at his age was a 76, right? 76, yeah. I mean, he still built like a brick shit house, you know. Oh, I mean, when when I met him, uh, that's what I said to him. Well, not verbatim. <laughs> 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 but no, when we were talking, uh, he asked me what to sign on the glove. I said, Look at you, man. What's the secret? I said, You look like you could step right back in the ring. And he would laugh that big deep laugh. <laughs> looks are deceiving, my friend. And, uh, you know, I was like, well, you can say that all you want, man. But <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you and you're, you're a big dude and you're in good shape. You can see, yeah. you know, because you can tell. You can tell when somebody's in good shape. Yeah, he was jacked. No doubt. Um, no doubt. So, I mean, you know, and it goes to show you what a loss it was because uh, let me let me check our Instagram page really quick. I posted that little uh, memorial video. Um and it had, uh, as of this morning, it had 10,000 views. Oh, my God. As of this morning. And that was only, you know, five days ago that it was posted. Wow. And right now, it has 18,600 views. That's and crazy. it goes to show you how much, you know, how what he, what he meant to people. Yeah. I mean, the people are sharing that and posting it. The other one I did, he has 1,000 views. I mean, you know, his... his uh, I'm sure they're in there searching his name and looking for, you know, looking for things. Oh, yeah. Um, it, I mean, like, Burt Young was four months ago, I think. Yeah. Remember correctly? Yeah. Um, again, Burt was a little older. Not that it was acceptable to die at, you know, his age. Um, but he was he was uh, six or seven years older. And I not in the shape that Carl Weathers was in, so. No, no. But. It still hit hard, but this one never saw it come. No, not when you look at a guy like Carl Weathers and the incredible physique that the man has always had, whether it was just good always. genetics or whatever the case may be. You see someone like that pass away, and yeah. you're like, oh, my God, you know. Yeah. There's, there's just no. Well, I think it might have been a combination of his body. I mean, you know, obviously uh, everybody that's a big fan knows he – he started in pro football with the Oakland Raiders. Yeah. So right there alone, you're playing for the NFL. Obviously, you're keeping yourself in tip-top shape. I mean, there yeah. is 
in shape as you can be. Right. Um, when he started studying acting and stuff while he was playing ball. And, right. He uh, went, uh, I'm sorry, he went two years to, well, he got cut by John Madden. And uh, John told him he was um, too emotional, <laughs> I think. Was the terminology, which is, which is crazy coming from John Madden, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We've seen him on the sideline. Exactly. If you um, haven't seen him, if anybody's young enough that they don't know who he is, he's not just the name of a video game. Right. Go look up some YouTube yeah. videos of him, and you'll see he was a real how person. Passionate he was when he was talking about the plays and the X's and the O's, and the, you know, and boom, and then you know, moving around. Yeah. And stuff. So, right. Yeah. He so was for the, him to say Carl was very emotional. That. You know, yeah. but it also might have been in where he was emotional, where he wasn't focusing on what he needed to do because he was getting so worked up about it. True, you know, I don't know. Who knows? But then he went two years and played, two or three years and played in Canadian ball for the yeah. uh, BC Lions, I believe it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BC so, Lions. You know, he... and you know, like the whole time he was playing ball, he was studying acting, and he's a big guy. I mean, mm -hmm. so it's not like he was uh, hiding in the in the you know in the corner there and you couldn't see him. Um, you know, he did say in the one uh, interview that we posted, you know, the guys that come up, the De Niro's and Al Pacino's and stuff, they're amazing actors. And but they see a guy like me coming in and they're, oh, you got to be a bad guy. Look at how big you are. Like we couldn't act. You know, yeah. he was saying, you know, we can't we can't come across and act properly, um, you know, but I mean, Obviously, I mean he's he's listed here at six two two twenty on his uh, on the biography of him, mm -hmm. which is probably about accurate. I mean, give or take. Yeah. Um, he might be a little bit taller and he might be a little bit bigger, but I mean it's approximate. But it's a big guy, six yeah, two two twenty. But there, his body fat percentage is, <laughs> you know. Tanner. Oh well, just like Sly, it went down with the movies. I mean, obviously, as we know, we all seen this picture, mm -hmm. and you know, Sly. You know the story that he went and read with Sly, and the big bum, big bass voice was. If you get me with a real actor, I could show you how I could really read this scene. Right. So right. Yeah. Like, well, he, <laughs> he is the guy playing Rocky, and uh, but Sly thought that that was so amazing because that's what Apollo would have done. Sure. And uh, so that's what that's what got him the role, and um, you know we've seen the we everybody that, that is a fan has seen the post by Sly um, regarding regarding his death, and you could hear yeah. it in his voice. You could just oh, hear it in yeah. his voice. He was absolutely very emotional. But um, but back to your statement about his body fat. Yeah, I mean that was Rocky, and then you got Rocky too, and he's trimming up a little bit more there. Mm -hmm. You can see, I mean, look, you know, if you if you showed somebody the fight scenes or the training scenes with Carl Weathers, look at him. Well, you and would you, you would you would think he's a real boxer. I, that's where it's just where I was going. And you didn't tell him it was a movie. Yeah. You'd be like, look at this guy, Apollo Creed from the 70s. And you just yeah. saw some young kid who likes boxing. I, I believe it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he had the motions. He had the, the he just he looked so natural doing it. Oh yeah, definitely. He, it's like some we've talked about this before. Where you get some actors or actresses and you put them in a sports movie, okay, baseball, football, boxing, basketball, whatever it may be, and you try to have them act athletic, you can <laughs> tell that they're not right. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. There's a couple of movies, and I don't remember what they were. They were they were movies my daughters are watching. And the guy who was playing the quarterback was throwing the ball. I'm like, this guy never threw a ball in his life. Right. He's right. Never you can... thrown a football in his life. You can yeah, just tell by can... the motion. Just it wasn't working. And you can tell right. by the boxing if somebody is, you know, even if you're athletic and you've never boxed, you yeah. can get the hang of it if a boxer shows you what to do. Right. I'm not saying you can become a boxer. I'm saying you can right. fake oh, yeah. it for a film. But he looked so fluid and so I'm telling you, if you take those films. And don't mm -hmm. tell somebody that's younger and say that that was a box that they believe it. I agree with you 100%. Absolutely. 100%. But do you remember you know, seeing him on uh, on uh, Good Times back in I, the I, You know what? I've seen the clip. I don't remember seeing the actual show episode. Oh, I did. I used to watch Good Times growing up. You yeah, know? I watched it here and there growing up, too. And he was, I mean, just as 
bombastic oh, and big, big yeah. and, and you know, he picked up, in the scene, he picks up JJ like he's nothing. I know, <laughs> yeah. And um, but 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 I think it was like I would get when I was younger, I'd get him and John Amos a little. I'd get confused because they're both big guys, both you know. Big guys, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. think John Amos even might have played some football <laughs> as well, but. Irregardless, and John Amos was in lockup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the sly connection. Yeah, a little sly but, connection. Six, six shades to sly, or whatever we want to call it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. The six degrees, like Kevin Bacon. Right. Um, but yeah, if you look at all the movies, but, I mean, he got yeah, more and I, more jacked each film. I mean, look at him. I mean, he's just—he's mm-hmm. not playing around. No. There was Rocky Three there, where there is no tomorrow. We all know that quote. Oh yeah. You know, and uh, told Sly, told Rocky, you know, you had that eye of the tiger, man. Oh, yeah. We're uh, Slice the Loan Shop, if anybody's watching from the shop. Hint, yes. hint. Awesome looking yeah. shirt. Yeah, hint, hint, wink, wink. We yeah. like to see that one out of shirt. Just saying, you know, yep. just kind of hinting around there. Yeah, that might and be a solid, course, you know. What's that? Is, it might get sold out pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If they released it now? They Oh, yeah. geez. They would, they would. They wouldn't have any left in an hour. No, I I personally don't have. No, I got to take this back. I think I have two Apollo Creed type shirts. Mm -hmm. One is like Rocky versus Apollo, or Rocky defeats Apollo, uh, 1976. Oh, the words, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I have one from like really old one from Old Navy. You know. Oh, okay. I think it would fit my if I was to have a little son. (laughs) <laughs> and, it's, and it's just Apollo, or is the two? Of them? Well, no, it's Rocky and Apollo. Okay, you know, I think Deb shrunk it in the dryer on me. <laughs> Come on, Deb. <laughs> you know, yeah, this is the only one I have that uh, has Apollo on it. Yeah, um, I didn't get. Uh, they they have this shirt. I was going to buy before the shop actually opened. Um. That was somewhere, and I, I think it was like Spencer's or something in the mall. I don't remember. Oh, okay. But it was uh, giving all his names there, the Dancing Destroyer, the King of Sting, the Count of Monte Fisto, the Prince of Punch, Master of Disaster, <laughs> the one and only. Yeah. Creed. But, yeah, look at him for Rocky IV. I mean, he, jeez. Jeez. I mean, he's just a beast there. <laughs> That's Rocky IV, and there's Rocky II. How do you get I mean, that much better with age? <laughs> right? I want to take right. whatever he's taken. <laughs> that was 79, and this is 85. Six years Amazing. later, that's what he looked like. Jeez. Yeah, we all yeah. know and dancing, that big smile he's got on his face. You know, taunting old Drago there. Yep. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, he, he, he like Sly said, he was a – huge part of the films being as successful as they were oh yeah you know how hard it is to write a part never mind playing a part of the villain mm-hmm. and not have anybody hate you that's well yeah that's ridiculous yeah i was gonna say it was like he was the villain you either hated to love or loved to hate but it, he no, was it was very different with drago or, yeah. or clubber but Apollo, you respect he him. Had that, he had that charm. You, you had the respect for him. You know, he was, you know, I retired more men than Social Security. He had his little one-liners. Yeah. Plus, he was good. Mm-hmm. And he backed it up. Yep. He just, you know, I mean, he had, even when he was done, he had the little one-liners. I remember when in Rocky Three? Now, come on, you really think that Rocky could hit that hard? And he's like, "Why well, do you think I'm sitting out here with you?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he had great one-liners. Yeah, and uh, you know, a gentleman, uh, just it, just all around a great character, played so perfectly by a great man. And I can yeah. see above your uh, left shoulder, you had the ad opportunity. Left shoulder? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was my left. Yeah. yeah, that's the glove he signed, and I got a little Apollo Creed, Uncle Sam. Okay. Okay. Outfit there, and I got that Apollo street sign that somebody made for me. Very good friend of mine. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, as you guys know, you know, Sophia and I saw him in Philly. So there we are there. We'll come back to that one. Sure. We got we got a lot more people that met him and saw him and had some nice stories to say. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, but after after Rocky's success, I mean, let's face it, Rocky put him on the map. You know, he did a bunch of uh, a bunch of shows, like you said, Good Times and and uh, you know, little low t- low Starsky and Hutch and mm-hmm. uh, Kojak and things of that nature. And then he did Rocky, and this he exploded. And for the yeah. four films, he was uh, a huge integral part of it. I loved him in Predator. Well, that was that was the film he did after uh, after. Um, oh my goodness, Rocky Four. Okay, Rocky Four was eighty five, and Predator was eighty six. Yeah, you know, he played Dylan, who's part of uh, <laughs> his biggest arm is both of them. It's like the world's most popular, most famous handshake. Right. You know, but then here he is again. Look at him; he's just jacked. Yeah. <laughs> The man looks. He's, the man looks like he's got a a, a loaf of a Hawaiian rolls for a stomach in the package. <laughs> <laughs> he does. You know, well, after Predator in '87, he did Action Jackson. Yeah, I remember that. That was a good. There movie. he is again. I mean, what was he got? Like a 28 inch waist there. Yeah. Ah. Sick. He. Do you, um, remember, we, do you remember him in the? Do you remember him in the Heat of the Night with Carol O'Connor? You know, I, I never watched the show. I do remember him being okay. in it. I remember seeing the commercials and whatnot. But that show was on a long time, too. Yeah, well, uh, But I never did watch it. I never okay. did check it out. I probably should have because, uh, you know, he's – but, uh, yeah, he he, uh, he did do that. When we saw him up in Philly and we had the uh, little Q&A session that you could ask him questions and just listen to him talk about his career, he mentioned to somebody – somebody asked him about Action Jackson. And he said that he he wanted it back then to be a franchise. He wanted there to be like four or five films. But the studios had other plans. Obviously, that didn't happen. Right. And he was actually trying to uh, kind of revive it. Obviously, somebody young and, right. and muscular to play it. But he was going to be like the sergeant or something or whatever. Or, yeah, something like that. Um, but obviously that will never come to fruition. No. Um, later on after that, what was it like 90 something, 95, 96, he played Chubbs. Yeah. <laughs> with Adam Sandler and Happy Gilmore. And with, the, and with the wooden hand. And you know, you know, I did not know this, I guess, but I guess with that deep baritone voice, the man could sing. Right. <laughs> right? He could sing. <laughs> he did. Hands he down. Did. Boom. We've he only did that just other film with Adam Sandler too. I never saw that little Nicky film. I never watched it though. So he did in, in the heat of the night for uh three uh 92, 93, 94 for three years. And he also did a show called Street Justice hmm. for uh four years. Okay, I don't I don't recall that one. Yeah, I don't either. And then he did a bunch of other, uh, you know, cameos and guest guest stars and stuff, um, where he played, uh, you know, like a cop or something like that along those lines. Okay. And then um, he it says here in two thousand nine he played uh, uh, the father of a Michael Strahan character in a movie in the sitcom called Brothers. He did some commercials again. And then and around 2018, 2019, I don't watch this, but he play he's in the Mandalorian, where he earned the yeah. Emmy nomination. Yeah, that took me by surprise because I'm not a big Trek or uh not Trekkie. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I know, Sorry. really. Be careful. You might have somebody <laughs> show up in your house. I know. Star Wars person. I've right. only seen the first one one time. That's it. But oh I'm really? Like, that's it. I'm but I'm like. Well, what the heck's a Mandalorian? <laughs> I thought I was like, yeah. is that like a DeLorean? But it was yeah, I didn't, by I didn't know either. Like I said, I mean, I I did no see cool. all these Star Wars. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time, like the, the later ones, but the first three I did see, which okay. are now we're not really the first three; they're kind of the middle three. But anyway, but yeah, so he's he was supposed to be doing very well in that. They were bringing him back for another season. I don't know oh. how many seasons there were. Is is that that? Super Bowl commercial uh, with Gronkowski. 
was yep. he was dressed like the Mandal? Is it? He, ju he just did that where he um, that that was on just during the championship games. But was I, that a Mandalorian outfit he was wearing? I don't. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I didn't know. know. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, I don't know if that was a connection to the show, or he just had on a similar looking uh, leather jacket okay. or something. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know if they're going to show the commercial now at this point. I don't know if they're going to. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're going to put on a little like in memory and then show it, or maybe they won't show it at all. I don't know. Good point. Good point. I mean, I, yeah. would, I could see both. Both. Uh, yeah. Reasons true. why. True. Yeah, it can go either way. Remember, too, he was the voice of Combat Carl yeah. in Toy Story 4. Yeah. <laughs> so and he had an amazing yeah, it's like all the TV shows like you mentioned, Rick, Good Times, Six Million Dollar Man, Starsky and Hutch, Barnaby Jones. God, you know, I got to go seven, back. All the 70s shows. I got to go back and check out the Six Million Dollar. I never missed an episode of the Six Million Dollar Man. Oh, I love it. don't remember him in that. I have yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I I was the same way. I watched every one. I had the action figure that you looked at. The yeah. Back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I don't remember him in that either. But and I remember Andre the Giant playing Bigfoot. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do actually. Yeah. Oh, it's too much. But yeah, it's such a shame. He. Uh, he was so talented and so gifted. It's yeah. it just it just shocked. I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, in '76, I understand. I'm not. He's not a spring chicken. Yeah, but that's still young for today's. But it's still today. young, and it's even younger in my eyes for the condition he was in. Yeah, I mean, if he was sick and he was cancer or you know whatever, you get it. It's eventually coming. Right. But I was uh, I was at Comic Con MegaCon with my daughter Sophia. We were in line getting ready to meet Michael J. Fox. And oh, no uh, yeah, a message came on the phone. And I was like, what? No. I go and Google it. I'm like, oh my God. And then I messaged you right after. I know. And I wake You're the next up to person that. I message. I'm like, I, I, come I, look, on. I wake up to this. I look at my phone. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's just shocking. You just didn't expect it. Didn't see yeah. it coming. Not with, a, not with a person who was in like, it looks like they're in tip top condition, you know. And the outpouring of, of tributes by celebrities and co colleagues and co workers and oh, yeah, co stars. Absolutely. And right, right. You know, Dolph Lundgren put his up there, Sly put his up there, and there was many, many people that put, put things on social media, on the TV show, the entertainment shows. I don't watch mm -hmm. them, and it was just such a shame, such a shame. I know John Rivoli told me he was because I asked him for a picture and I didn't know he never met him. And he said oh, he was okay. supposed to go. He was supposed to go like in a week or two to to have him sign some of his artwork. Oh, and he's wow. finally going to meet him. Oh my goodness! Well, we you wasn't he going to be up in Niagara Falls like in June? Supposed to be? Uh, no, no, that was Dolph Lundgren. Oh, okay. I think yeah, I no, thought... he was supposed to be in Richmond, Virginia, in March. Oh, okay. But yeah, Dolph is supposed to be in Niagara in June, okay, and Dolph is also in Richmond, Virginia, in March. Okay, so Dolph, Talia, Sly, go hide under your beds. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and stay away from anything bad. <laughs> I mean, it's it's you know, I mean, obviously Burgess Meredith was the first to go. He was a lot older. Yeah, you, you weren't like as oh my god, really? Mickey died. Um. Obviously, when Tommy Morrison died, that was a, that was a shock because he was so young. Right. But then after that, there was nobody that wasn't of age, mm -hmm. you know, until Burt Young. Right. And right. you know, like you said, that only happened. You know, but if you, months. but it, you know, we both watched Bottom of the Ninth, which might have been Burt's last movie, I believe. You know, and you kind of looked at him; you could tell. He was definitely slowing down. Not that you wished any ill, but you could tell time had caught up, you know. So was it a shock? Yes, but not <clears> like <throat> this. With Carl, the man looks like he could step back in the ring mm -hmm. in three seconds, you know. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So absolutely agreed. 
Yeah, he did very little after Bottom of the Ninth. Bottom of the Ninth was uh, 2019. And then in 2020, he did the 40 Years of Rocky with uh, with Derek Wayne Johnson, that documentary. Okay. Um, Stallone Frank, that is, with him as well. And then he played Charlie uh, Luca in Charlie Boy, a detective in Final Code. Oh. Uh, that was in 2021. And that was the last of his work. Okay, so... You know, he kept on rocking and rolling there for a little for bit. For another but, two years, yeah. Well, you could definitely see that, you know, time had... He's getting older and he's slowing down, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But like but, you said, with Carl, I yeah. not a mile away, I didn't see him. Mm-mm. Never saw that. Mm-mm. No. And yeah. I believe I read that Carl was married three times. Um, do you know how many... Ch- I, I didn't recall seeing how many children he may have had. Um, let's see. Here we, well, he has two sons. Okay. Um, I don't recall how many wives. I think you're right. I think it was two. Yeah, it is two. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's three. It's three, yeah. Marianne from 73 to 83, Rona from 84 to 06, and Jennifer 07 to 09. And Mary Ann is who he has his sons with. And he has okay. two boys. Well, that's kind of like a reality following the the films with uh, he was married to Mary Ann. Yeah, right. <laughs> And that, only that, is a little ironic. Well. <laughs> that is a little ironic. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, such a shame. Such a shame. I yeah. still can't believe it happened. I know. I mean, because like you look at him here, this is a very recent picture of him. Handsome dude. You know what? I mean, good Man looking is... guy. Yeah. He's got the gray beard. He's got, you know, I don't know how he worked out having a gray beard and not gray hair, but that's all right. Yeah. Whatever. I wish I could. I wish I could do that. I wish I could flip that. I, I, I go with gray beard. The man's a stallion. <laughs> he is. He is. We had um we had asked a bunch of our our uh, followers and fans to send in pictures if they met him and tell us stories. Um, the stories I'm going to have to read to you guys. Some of them are are you know they're, they're not real long. Uh, some of them are, you know, just basically saying how how they met. Um, <clears throat> this is our friend Dan. He was my Rocky fan, Dan. He um, looks like he met him twice, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, he met him a while ago. So he still has that just the mustache, and it's dark. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. And I guess, and he must have had him sign the uh, the boxing glove there, so that's kind of cool. He oh, sent in yeah. stuff before. He has a very ma- he has an awesome collection of Rocky memorabilia. Okay. But, yeah, so that's, that's there, there. And then the next one we have um, – this gentleman here, his name is Jerry, and he didn't send a picture of himself. He sent a picture of Carl signing his poster. He designed this poster, and that's what's on his web page. Um, oh, nice. And uh, it was it was at the Philly Comic Con in 22 when I went and saw him. Um, he said that he had the priv- privilege of seeing the Master of Disaster signing something that he created. Wow. He's like, I told him I created the poster, and he said, he paused a second and then that deep voice he goes you did this wow that's really nice um he said unfortunately it was during covid so he had the mask on yeah um but he's uh glad he met him he said he was definitely a gentleman nice man uh let's see here we have vincent the next picture that's a little more recent you can see his grays in the beard Oh, he's got yep. a Apollo Creed shirt on there, too. Look at I that. was just looking at that. That's a pretty yeah. cool looking shirt. Yeah. It is. There you go. You should have did the, uh, the Predator shake. Yeah. Let's see. After that one, we got Tony D. Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony. is – I don't know if I've ever seen Tony calm. <laughs> no, Tony I know. He's <laughs> about as excited as you could be. That man is just one gigantic ball of energy. And it's he's, positive energy too. That's what I love yeah. about it. Well, he's always smiling. Tony's he's always, always smiling. smiling. Always. Um, he said he's glad we got to meet him. We did get to meet him at the same time. He was he he came to the Philly con when I was there. He was behind me in line. We got to meet him technically together. Um was that a 2020? Uh no, no, no. It's 2022. Okay, because there was one where Sly was going to be there. And oh, the that end. was that was 18. Okay. And he backed yeah. out, and then I did not buy my tickets. Yeah, I, well, I didn't buy the tickets either. And um, 
uh, because it showed that he was not going. Right. Yeah, that's Tony with his boys. And then this young lady here, Alexandra, let me find her her story here. Here it is. This is her son. His name is Dawson. Um, the picture she sent, you couldn't see the, the her and him met Carl. And you really can't see it, but I figured I'd put this one up because this one you could see. But it's just, he signed the boxing glove for Dawson there. That's a nice autograph. Yeah, and he wrote whatever you wanted. He wrote all the, if you don't tell him anything, I guess he just writes all the best and writes Apollo Creed. You know, on my glove over here, I asked him to write, I want the stallion. And then he wrote that and signed it, wrote Apollo Creed on it. Nice. So what else we got here? Here we go. We got our buddy Chris. Uh, yep, right there. Okay. We met him in Great. Louisiana. Wow. Met him in Louisiana in January of 23. Oh. He, he actually said to me, he goes, I'm a teacher. Can you video a message for my students? And he goes, yeah, sure. And he's like, study, study, study. <laughs> oh, man. There was this opportunity to say, be a stay, stay don't be a stinker. <laughs> I thought the same thing. <laughs> I thought exactly the same thing. I'm like, oh, why did he say that? I mean, he, he might have forgotten. I know. Be I a know. Thinker. Don't be a stinker. Carry a leather briefcase. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, this stuff. one here is another one from Chris. Um, another Chris. I'm sorry. Which I'm assuming his last name is Brown. Chris Brown. Yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, he did. did. He did the Predator shake. There you go. Yeah, I've had a long, long conversations with Chris Brown. He said he uh, met Carl twice over the years uh, at a movie mm -hmm. convention in Philadelphia and New Jersey. An incredible man, very gracious with his time. He goes, I showered him with praises that I had for the Rocky franchise and Apollo Creed. And um, he, him telling, Carl telling Chris that he was so proud and honored to have portrayed an iconic character that will outlive him and will entertain others for years to come. Sure. There you go. Sure. It's too bad you got to get old, Stallion. That's right. That's right. I think I put on one of my – somebody put a post up. It might have been hours from round 14. I don't remember. But I'm like, you know, although mortality or whatever will always have its place, our heroes were not, will never truly die. No, as no, long they as won't. there's film and as long as no. we have this – our They'll never truly well, die. And, and like, like I posted with the with the one um, post we did on round 14, like Duke says in Rocky IV, you know, we're the ones to keep the spirit alive. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, no matter which of them it is. Yeah. Absolutely. And if it's not us because now we're gone, hopefully it's people that we've enlightened the Rocky yeah. world to or yeah. our children or whomever. Yeah. But I believe that. I yeah, someday it. we'll pass the mic over and let them whoever's going to come in and yeah. you know, like like yeah, well, like Duke said, right? When it, when he died, a part of me died. Yeah, it's kind of true. Yeah. Next up, we got Matt. Matt oh, yeah, Matt. Look okay. at Matt. Matt and his beautiful family. I got to talk to them at Rocky Day a little bit. Very nice people. But he uh, Matt wrote that um, he was such a kind-hearted gentleman. He met him at Rhode Island Comic Con. Okay. Very nice to the boys. And he gave my youngest son the Dylan handshake from Predator. Oh, cool. He signed everything exactly how you asked him. Um, and they wanted they wanted on the boxing glove. Apollo Creed meets the Italian stallion, 1176. Oh, wow. And then he said to the boys, sounds like a damn monster movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's great awesome. that, that he said that. That's, a, That's so awesome. That so great. He said, then they went for the photo op, and he goes, oh, the family's back. And then he gave Matt the Dylan handshake. <laughs> Very cool. That is so cool. Uh, let's see what we got next. Next up, we got Brad. Big Brad. Where's he at? Matt, Brad's got the double whammy. Oh, Brad's yeah. Got Jeez. Golf and, and, uh, and Carl. So, yeah, wow. look at this. It's, Carl's a big dude. Man. Look at how, how he is. Remember yeah. that in the, film, in the film, he didn't look. Remember, he kept going on his tippy toes? Right. He going on his tippy toes there. <laughs> no, no. So Brad's wow. on the left there for anybody uh, on the screen. That's that's Brad. So he sent that in. Um, this one here is for uh, Tony. 
We saw him at uh, the Philly Comic Con again in 2022. Okay, cool. Um, he said he's so thankful that he went, that he smiled when he saw him in line because he was dressed like that. He was very gracious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, after his own heart. <laughs> yeah. And then, like we showed earlier, Sophia and I saw him. Sophia asked him a question at the Q&A. She asked him if he saw the, the director's cut of Rocky IV and what his thoughts were, and he said, no, he hadn't. And he goes, what did you think to Sophia? <laughs> And she's like, I liked it a lot. And he goes, well, that's all that matters. That's why we do this. So you like it. Yeah. And um, then we went to take the picture. He goes, oh, it's the, the girl with the question. Good question. Wow, good memory. Yeah, right? So we came in, we shook hands, smiled. Such a gracious man. He's so, you know, when I had him sign the glove, I had him write what I wanted. We were chatting for just a few minutes. You know, yeah. you don't have a long time to talk. Sure. But, uh, you know, you just... You hope the people that you meet from films you love are as nice as they seem, you know, or is going to be as as good as they are, whatever. And right. he he was over the top. He was just such a gentleman, such a, and he respected and loved the fandom, no matter what it was. Because when Sophia was asking him a question, he was talking about Star Wars first. Somebody else had asked about the Star Wars series. Okay. And then somebody else talked to him about Action Jackson. And then when Sophia went, she said, I'm sorry, I'm going to bring it back to Rocky. I have a question about Rocky. And he goes, don't you be sorry. He goes, I'm proud of all my work. And if my work is what you, you know, you love the Rocky series and that's what you love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he just, he understood and respected it. That's great. I mean, let's face facts. I mean, Rocky made him a household name. Oh, yeah. He's not a person on a planet that doesn't know Apollo Creed. Yeah. So that's crazy. right. That's right. Crazy, crazy. I tell you. I remember, but, I remember, remember yeah. Rocky Four in the pool, you know, throwing the ball to the dogs. I, I, he's just, he's like a monster. I mean, he's just freaking jacked. Huge. Yeah. He's a big guy. I mean, I like I said, I, right? I, we looked at where's that? Our, his, I will look at this one here. We're just telling the rate note tomorrow. I mean, look at that. Yeah. You that know, and then you got. Out. This one, which is just, I mean, he shredded. Yeah. I didn't yeah. put this one up before. He's a big yeah. boy. Yeah. But unfortunately. Gone too soon. Gone too soon. We, uh, we like you said, we have his memory every time we put it on the films. He'll never go anywhere. I we never had... I never got the the chance or the opportunity, and I really regret that, you know. I know and that's the hard part, you know. It's like I, I same with me with Bert Young. I didn't I didn't get to meet Bert Young, uh, you know, and now he's gone, and there's zero chance of meeting Bert Young. Right. Um, you know the others. I mean, obviously, you hope you met Sly. I met Sly. I'm hoping to meet Dolph. I doubt we'll ever meet Talia Shire. She, she's never anywhere in public. I know. Um, and Mr. That's T's strange. another one. He's another strange. one. <clears throat> oh, well, Hulk Hogan, too. I met Hulk. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, she's very uh, much – I mean, she might be out and about in California where she lives, but she doesn't do these Comic-Cons and stuff. Yeah. And that's really the only shot you got at meeting these guys. Unless you live yeah. in California. And Mr. T doesn't really do them. Which that surprises, that surprises me. Quite Not that I've seen. I mean, you – I would think he would have a whole line full of people from Rocky and 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 uh, A Team, right? You know, he could uh, make plenty of money off of that. Sure, but, sure. I mean, remember the cereal? You know, the Mister T cereal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the man was all over the place. Yeah. Well, he's got. I mean, if he went and signed autographs, you got the A Team, got Rocky Three, obviously, and then he's got the WWE or WWF at the time, right? With Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Remember he went out and did what WrestleMania or whatever it was with Hulk Hogan. Right. I mean, I, I wasn't into wrestling, but I, I know there's tons of people that would love to get him to sign something. Right. So I don't know. There's There's got to be a reason why he doesn't, because I know that those guys make a ton of money doing it. Right. But, so now, I, now I'm going to be on the lookout and the search for Carl Weathers football card. I got to get those cards. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we got to check you know? eBay. I'm sure they're on eBay. Everything's on eBay. Yeah, everything's on eBay. 
But that'd be but, nice to have in the collection. You know, frame them up and put them in there. Sure, yeah. I mean, okay. I got my, my. Uh, well, I don't know if you can, Carl. Or I got my Apollos, little guys. Or I yeah. got my Funkos up there. Yeah, and, yeah, I got the Funkos here. And then I got the little, these little pocket dudes. Oh, yeah, you showed me those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just have, I have the Pop. I have the, I don't know, Mago or whatever that is there. Yeah. Where he's in the Uncle Sam suit, yeah. signed glove. I don't have picture. That. Oh, I do got that one. Okay, you have that. I do. I just got it. Yeah, for yeah. yeah see, I know you. I saw that. Yeah. I got, anyway, I got Rocky and Apollo over there boxing in a ring, and you know, it's all over the place. You know, stuffed. I don't want to say stuffed animals, but you know what I'm talking about. Stuffed yeah. Figure like a uh, plush figurine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's an icon. The man's he an is. icon. He absolutely he will is. never truly he'll never truly die in our no. hearts and minds. No, he absolutely won't. So Carl, thank you for everything you've given us. We will be yes. you know, like you said, your your spirit and your memory will live on with, with Rocky fans and with Star Wars fans and, and uh, you know Predator fans, Action Jacks and all of the above. Um so you'll be around for a very long time. We appreciate oh, yeah. everything you gave us. And uh, and we couldn't be uh, more hit harder than it. It's just horrible. No. But um, I hate to end on such a sad note, but it's kind of hard not to uh, with an episode like this. But um, you know, we got we've said it before. We got to stop doing. <laughs> I'm not, we can't <laughs> because life is inevitable. But we've had some. It's been a tough year. And we yeah. will we will touch on that. I think next episode. Next episode, uh, yeah. Next episode, we got a whole year recap. Next episode is Rick and I's anniversary. One yeah. year, one year of co-hosting the show together. Let's um, let, let's rephrase that. It's our man anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. A little better note. We'll end it on that note. So, yeah, yeah. Do tune in next week to watch all of our one-year recap. But in the meantime, Carl, rest in peace, my friend. Yes. Yo, Apollo, you'll never be forgotten. That's right. Wow. Yep. Very sad. All right, buddy. We'll see you next week. All right, buddy. Take care, man. Mm-hmm.